Hello crafty friends, it's Brenda from Stamping with the Copper Cropper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. I hope you enjoy watching today's quick tip video. It's March, that means St. Patrick's Day. So today's quick tip is on shamrocks. You want to make a St. Patrick's Day card? You have the perfect photos for a St. Patrick's Day scrapbooking layout, but you don't have is a uh, St. Patrick's Day stamp set or paper, you can make yourself some quick and easy shamrock embellishments. You can make the 3D version or you can make the flat version. Today's quick tip is how, because if you have a punch or a set of sweet and sassy heart framelits, you can make a shamrock. For our 3D one, I'm going to start with a piece of green paper. Why? Because, well, it's St. Patrick's Day and shamrocks are green. I'm going to cut or punch four hearts. Once you have your hearts punched out, you're just going to use your fingernail to make a line down the center to score them. If you want, with the bigger ones, you could put them in your paper trimmer with a score blade, or you could use the scoreboard. You just want a little score line to get this little effect here. And you would do that with all the hearts, fold them and score them, fold them and score them, until you have enough to make your shamrock. Then for your stem, you take the fourth heart, and just cut around the heart curve a little bit, turn it in the opposite direction, and there's your stem. I use glue dots to put the hearts on, that way their wings look up. You can do the same thing with your hearts to make butterflies and other different things. Now for the smaller one that's not 3D, I used Stamping Up's new leaf punch that coordinates with the Painted Harvest stamp set. I cut a stem out of the green paper and I cut three hearts out with a small retired heart punch. Then I took my paper snips and I just snipped the leaves off of the stem. Then I put it on my paper and I glued my hearts on. And that's how you make quick and easy shamrock embellishments for your St. Patrick's Day pages or cards when you don't have a St. Patrick's Day stamp set. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tip. May the luck of the Irish be with you and happy stamping.